Friends, you never know who you'll touch in life. You never know how or when you'll have an impact or how important your example can be to someone else. My faith helps me understand that circumstances don't dictate my happiness or my inner peace. The chances you take, the people you meet, the people you love, the faith that you have, that's what's going to define you. You have to be who you are in this world, no matter what. At the end of the day, my friends, it's not about what you have or even what you've accomplished. It's about what you've done with those accomplishments. It's about who have you lifted up, who have you made better. It's about what you've given back to those people. I think, personally, a role model is a mentor, someone who you see on a daily basis and you learn from them. My faith taught me how to forgive. Faith taught me when people present themselves in a certain way, there's probably some backstory or issue or reason for the way that they are acting. It's not you, my friends. It's them. And a lot of times, it's about something that's completely out of their control. Put God first. I've been protected. I've been directed. I've been corrected. <clears throat> I've kept God in my life, and it's kept me humble. I didn't always stick with Him, but He always stuck with me. Don't be afraid to think outside the box. Don't be afraid to fail big, to dream big. But remember, dreams without goals are just dreams and they ultimately fuel disappointment. And understand, to achieve these goals, you must apply discipline and consistency. You'll never see a U-Haul behind a hearse. It's not how much you have in life. It's about what you do with what you have. It, that's where the success is in helping others. Say thank you in advance for what's already yours. That's how I live my life. True desire in the heart for anything good is God's proof to you sent beforehand to indicate that it's yours already. My advice is this, and it's simple. Don't just aspire to make a living. Friends, aspire to make a difference. And may God bless each and every one of you, and take good care. Bye-bye now. Good morning. My name is Ralph Friedrichs. I am an addiction recovery coach, a life coach, and the host of this show, the Take Your Life Back Today radio show. You can see a video version of this. If you go to YouTube on their channel, Take Your Life Back Today show. We spoke about uh, uh, hope. We spoke about faith. And we spoke about love. Now let's talk about motivated by peace. Reflecting on the word peace brings to mind several sayings that I have heard as a child. They include peace of mind, peace be with you, peace on to you, goodwill towards men, and peace comes from within. Contemplating the meaning of these sayings has left me with a saddened heart that we are walking around on the journey called life with what appears to be an absence, an absence of finding peace within our hearts. I do not see very many, uh, very many people with uh, a, a quiet nature about themselves or a sense of tranquility walking amongst my inner circle. So, finding peace is, uh, well, I can imagine some at times, including myself, struggle to keep an inner peace some, uh, sometimes. That's not just during the hustle and bustle of the holiday season or uh, uh, crisis, but year-round. Perhaps we have chosen to talk about peace during our simple suggestions uh, through the month of December uh, for, the re for that reason, to help those struggling with peace of mind, perpetual hope, and goodwill towards other men. Well, how about a personal reflection? There is a quote from the Buddha about the issue that deserves consideration. Peace comes within, uh, from within. Do not seek it without. So how does one go about finding peace within uh, if they uh, do not have peace within? I think it lies within the ability to connect with the past peaceful experience or creating new ones and to reach out to God each and every day. One of the most quiet and tranquil places I have found as a child was walking through a wooded section of a street in, uh, of a, street in a neighborhood where I was growing up. On one particular day, our area received a significant amount of snow. At dusk, after the sun had set, 
uh, uh, we decided, my friends and I decided to go for a walk. The street lamps had just turned on and we began our trek up the street. This truly was a time when I allowed nature's peace to flow into me, something that um, John Muir had quoted at one time. I do not remember too many of the details, such as the day of the week or exactly how old I was or what I was wearing, but what I do remember was how nature, whether I chose to allow this or not, affected my senses. And John Moore, he has so many quotes at that, and I urge you to look them up. Other than being one of the best childhood memories I had with my friends, when I uh, think about this experience, I can still remember the effect of it today, 50-something years later. I remember how cool the air and the falling of the snow felt on my skin, how the beauty of white that was everywhere, and how the glistering of street lamps looked, and that little noise of the lamps. You remember that? I also remember the smell. It was fresh, with maybe a touch of fireplace smells behind us. But most of all, I remember the sound. It was a quiet that you don't find too often in today's world. So, back. Let's get back into this moment. When I feel hurried inside and need a place to find an inner calm, I go back to that moment. I go back into a quiet time with God. I guess I have been truly blessed to have had that experience back then and to experience my Lord Jesus Christ each and every day. At the time, it was a moment I shared with my friends, which I cherish. But as an adult, I now, now understand the importance of using that moment for peace and in, in, in today, in the present. So perhaps that is what uh, this video message is about, allowing experience to enter our soul, to have it perpetuate our senses and to teach about the therape uh, therapeutic benefits that nature can provide for us because God did create that nature for you. Being present in the moment allowed me to store its properties in my soul, having a sense of mindfulness and accepting what is brought about tranquility, slowing down and thinking outwardly to allow a new experience to affect us is important. There are just a few ways in which you can bring inner peace into your life, past memories, and of course, with the love of Jesus Christ. Call me at 844-405-HELP. Together we can help each other take our lives back. Be good to each other. Be good to each other. And remember, God loves you. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord hath made. Enjoy it. It's a blessing. Because tomorrow, one never knows what could bring before us. May God bless you. We'll talk to you guys tomorrow. And take good care. Bye-bye now.